and welcome back to another toy photography tutorial. In today's tutorial, you guessed that we're going to be doing some outdoor photography. So usually when I do outdoor photography, there's two things that I like to carry with me is a remote trigger to control my camera. So that way I don't have to push down on the shutter while trying to hold other things. And also I like to carry a reflector. So I have my reflector on there. It's on the gold side right now. That's another item I like to use. It's really great for toy photography. Almost essential when doing outdoor photography is it allows you to bounce the light, especially the sun. That's the that's what we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the sun as our main light source. And then we're going to be using a reflector to reflect that light. Now, when I'm doing outdoor photography, I like to uh, use the sun, but I like to shoot my toys in front of the sun. So having the sun behind my figures. And there's a reason for that. As you can see right now, I'm kind of standing in the shade. So I have very soft light on my face, but let's go ahead and step into the sun. Now, if you're shooting your toys in the sun, see how that changed it dramatically. You have the harsh light on there. My hat's casting a shadow on me, right? But if we just went and put the sun behind me real quick, see now it softens the light. Now you can see my face. I don't have any harsh shadows on my face and it creates this rim lighting around me. It makes it really nice. So that's what we're going to be doing with our toys today. I'm going to be doing a setup with my toys um, outside with the sun behind and then we're going to be using the reflector to reflect the sun or to, man to manipulate the sun and reflect it back to the figures the way we want it so let me go ahead and show you guys this setup so as you can see here's a nice setup right here really simple i just have boba fett right there and a stormtrooper i'm um, just creating a dramatic scene here of boba fett basically telling the stormtrooper to back off but as you can see i just have them setting up with some wire right here I just use the base right here and then behind I just put Boba Fett a little bit elevated so that way it looks more like an empowering pose and as well as I have these uh, rock slabs right here to kind of create a cool background so that way I don't have the pond or anything else uh, in my background. So now let's go ahead I'm going to grab my camera I'm going to show you guys a before shot of just shooting it like this. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys an after shot using a reflector. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that's a before shot without using a reflector. So let's go ahead and grab our reflector. And right now I have it on the gold side. Um, that's probably going to be too harsh. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over to the white side, which is probably the most popular side and also probably the silver side. This is going to help uh, just bounce some of that light uh, and uh, fill in the shadow um, on the scene. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys an after using this reflector, but I'm also going to show you guys how I'm using it. So as you can see here, this is how I'm going to really position my reflector. Uh, you always you never want to do it to like in front of your scene uh, because that's kind of defeating the purpose because you're going to reflect all that harsh shadow or that are you going to fill in those shadows with just more harsh light and you're gonna, not going to have any shadows and it's not going to really create a dynamic scene so what i like to do is i like to offset it at an angle see how my camera is positioned right there i like to just then offset it to the side and then kind of just play with it until i get that look that i want and i'll go ahead and take the picture so let's go ahead and do an after picture with using the reflector now Now there's one more trick that I want to show you guys because even then with the after photo of using it, I notice that the sun's kind of at the high point because it's a little bit after uh, 12 o'clock when I'm taking this photo. And I'm going to show you guys how to use the scrim side of your guys's five in one reflector. Um, if you guys choose to get, be using that, um, the scrim side, what it does is um, it allows you to then cover your scene up and, uh, and it softens the light through the whole scene, which is really great, especially if you're shooting at like uh, where the sun's really high and you're not really getting those golden hour uh, lighting. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you shoot. You're always just going to be in the sun and your figures are just going to be in, uh, being uh, lit right from the top with the sun, which that's how my figures are right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use the scrim side. I'm going to show you guys a, um, a way of using that to take this photo. So let's do it. So here, you, so here you go. 
here's the scrim side of the 5-in-1 reflector. And what you could do with this is you could go ahead and scrim your entire scene. So see now it's all, now the light is all softened throughout the whole scene. See, boom, sun, sharp, the sun, harsh, soften. And this is how I'm gonna take this photo right here. And what's great is then from here, you can then also use additional reflectors to also bounce more light into the scene. For, but for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and just soften this whole scene entirely. And uh, let's take this photo. So as you can see, that was basically uh, two ways of using a reflector outside. We use the scrim side and then we use the, the uh, plain white side. There's also the gold and the silver and the black. And they all do various things to give you guys different looks. Now, you don't have to go out and get a reflector like mine, the five in the five in one. It's like a 43 inch, it's a little bit overkill. I just had it because I do other, I've been doing other photography for many years now. So I've already had that on hand, but there's smaller ones like the nice 12 inch one that I'll have a link down in the description so you guys can go check it out. You can also just use flashcards or poster boards and just change up the colors, get a black one, get a white one. Um, and then if you just want, and then if you want them to be more reflective, you just put some aluminum foil and bam, you got a reflector. It's pretty simple. But that's going to do it for today's video of using a reflector outside for toy photography. Uh, if you guys like today's video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe for more toy photography tutorials. Also, all the gear that I use in today's video will be linked down in the description below. If you guys have any other ways that you guys use for like reflectors or any other hacks, go ahead and please leave a comment down below so other people can go and try them out. I'm Brent England with Brent England Photography. Thanks for watching. Keep taking photos and I'll see you guys in the next one.